Hi, I'm Kendra Little from Redgate's Advocate Team. And I'm gonna give you a demo of how you can use Flyway to get an existing database into version control and start running migrations against that database. What I've done already is I have set up two databases. One of them is a Postgres database that is meant to act as my development environment. So it is named pg-demo-dev. And I have another Postgres database that is representing our production environment. It is named pg-demo-prod. These databases happen to be hosted in Azure. You can have them anywhere you want to run through a similar scenario. You can see that in my production database, if I refresh here, we have some existing tables. We've got badges, comments, link types, all sorts of tables in there. What I've done is I've taken the schema from an older version of Stack Overflow, and I've adapted that to Postgres SQL. So I've created this fake production environment there, but my development environment, if I refresh my tables there, it is currently empty. I've downloaded and installed Flyway's Pro version, and I've configured the Flyway install so that its default commands will run against my development database because most of the time I'm going to want to be testing my commands against development. And then when I'm ready to deploy to production, I can change things up and deploy to production. I only have one migration script that I've created so far. In the Flyway config file, I said, hey, look for migrations in this folder I've named migrations. And I created a file in there named v1 underscore underscore base underscore version dot SQL. In here, what I've done is I've scripted out that set of tables I have in production, the starting point here. I have an existing database. So here is what the commands are to recreate the production schema. I'm not going to run these commands against production, but it's helpful at different times to be able to, in development, create my database from scratch. Say, hey, I want to clean things out. I want to lay down my baseline, my production baseline where I started doing development. And then I want to test all of my migration scripts on top of that. And that is what this base version represents. We are now going to open up a terminal here and I'm gonna run my first flyaway command here. I'm gonna clear out my terminal first, and then I'm gonna run flyaway info. I have configured that default flyway.conf file to say I want to run against my dev database, and it helpfully points out here, it prints out the database that it's running against. Flyway info takes a look and it sees there is one script in that migration folder that you configure to run from, it is the base version, it's version one, and it's pending. We haven't run this against the development environment yet. The development environment is empty. To run commands against the development environment, I can deploy this by running flyway with the migrate command. Flyway migrate says, hey, take these migrations and actually run them against target there. And it looks at that database, the development database. It says, this is empty. You haven't run commands against this. I need to run that base version. And it has now successfully applied that migration. So now when I expand my development database here and I refresh these tables, we can now see that in, we now have badges, comments. We also have a table named flyway schema history where it is tracking what are the migrations that I've run against this database. Now there's more that we can do. Over time, I may want to, as I said, run against an empty database. So I may periodically want to run the command flyway clean. I'm going to be very, very careful with the clean command though. Don't ever want to run this against production because what it's going to do is clean out my development database and get rid of all of those tables. So it has successfully dropped a lot of objects here. And what that means is that I can run flyway migrate again and run everything from scratch. So if I'm testing out a bunch of migration scripts, it'll rerun that baseline and run every migration script after that. 
which is very, very useful against a development environment, not useful against a production environment generally. If we want to look at that table in the development environment, we are still connected to our development database up there. I can query that flyway schema history table and I can see now that it has run the v1 base version script. Well, let's run an incremental migration now. Here I have some migration scripts that have been prepared and I've just had these stored in a different folder right now. I'm now going to copy these into my migrations folder. I have just added in one file named v2.1 add new table. It creates badly named table. And because it's named v2, this is a roll forward script with Flyway's naming convention. I've added a second file, which is named u2. This is an undo script for that same version, for that same upgrade. It will drop table, badly named table. This is the pro undo feature that lets you for roll forward migrations or up scripts, create a down script or an undo script that goes along with it. So I've added those now into my migrations folder. Now, when I open up my terminal again, let's do a clear here, and I say flyway info, it'll look at my development database, check what has been running, and it says, oh, you have a migration in that folder which hasn't been run yet. You've run the base version, but now you have uh, the add new table migration, which I have given the version 2.1, you control that with the file name and that has not been run yet. It is undoable. To deploy that to my development database, I run flyaway migrate and that will now run the upscript for that against my development database. It is adding badly named tables. So if we go back to our development environment here and refresh and expand our tables here, hey, we've got a badly named table. It just has one column in it. It's not a very fancy badly named table. What if we want to do that undo script? To run that undo script against our development database, we run the command flyway undo. That finds the undo script that we have for the last migration that we ran, and it undoes that. Flyway info will show us the status of the database. It does keep track that we ran version 2.1, but its state is that it has been undone because we successfully ran the undo script for that change. It lets us know that if we do want to rerun 2.1, that migration script is still there and it is still pending. When we do an undo, we need to figure out what needs to happen next there. If I go back to and just check in my database here, here we haven't refreshed this yet. If I now refresh my table view here, the badly named table is gone. It was dropped by my undo script. So we have tested our rollback. Maybe perhaps I want to roll forward again. To roll forward again, I run flyway migrate and that will once again run the roll forward script there and add that table back to my development environment. At this point, if I'm ready to run this against production, production is an existing database. And let's say this is our first deployment. We have not yet run a deployment against it. I am now going to run a command and specify a different configuration file. In this configuration file, I've specified the production database name and connection information. And I'm just first gonna run flyway info while specifying that config file name. It says, we have two migration scripts here, the base version and add new table. We haven't run either of these, they're both pending. Only one of these has an undo script. Well, it doesn't seem right to run flyaway migrate here because we don't wanna run that base version, but just to show you what happens if we do. 
I have an existing production database and I try to run flyaway migrate against it. Well, it says the public schema is not empty. There is no schema hi history table against this. This doesn't look right. I shouldn't run this baseline schema. It suggests that I use the baseline command. When starting against an existing production database, the baseline command says, okay, we are starting from this point forward. We are uh, the objects in this database. They exist now and we are going to build upon them. And this lets Flyway know that it shouldn't run that base version script against this target environment. It says, okay, we've run our baseline yet and it creates the Flyway schema history table so that now it can track and now that I have baselined, I can now run migrate against that production database. This lets it know, hey, we shouldn't lay down that baseline. We only need to run the migration scripts after that baseline. And so it only runs the script to add new table. If I look at Flyway Info now, it shows me that we have you know, baselined the database at this point in time. And after that, we have run the migration to add the new table. It is undoable if we need to run that undo script against production. Thanks for joining me for this quick tour of how to use Flyway with an existing database. I'll see you again soon.